people of the internet today in this Fallout 76 video I'll be showing you how to farm bullets now of course I'm taking the munitions pack to eat but this isn't the place you want to go because if you're a low level you can't necessarily have this place so, and I just have this because I can so let me just plop down a so let's plop down two large generators we can't connect that there so we'll have to put a power connector on the floor there you go connect that Okay, so there you go. So we have the munitions factory. Let me just. So my munitions that I need the most are the 50 cal bullet rounds. And this ammunition factory is great for that because I don't have the time to farm all the time. T today I do. Today I have the time f to farm. So, the way I proceed with my farming is that, and we'll go step by step, how to get from lead to how to get steel and gunpowder. So, let's start. So, for the lead, it's super easy. Um, for the lead, you just have to come over here to the Charleston area and for this I really recommend you having the the travel agent perk because you pay 30% fewer caps and you have the pack rat because that reduces your um, kid, uh, the junk weight to 75% so I really recommend you have those two perks because, well, it's very obvious. Anyway, so let's go to perks. Yeah, so as you can see, I have all that. Let me build the stash box and I'll put all my scrap in it. And there you go. Put that stash box there. Put all my scrap in it. So let's put all my eight items because I don't need all of this. Okay, so now that I'm ready, let's go get some lead. Oh, well, I won't defend this place because it'll remain operational any time. Okay, so first of all, if you go down here to the Charleston Fire Department, so let's pay the caps to make it there. If you go there and you go in the training room, in the training room, there's a bunch of weights and there's a bunch of curl bars and those are great for lead I think you can walk out with like a lot of lead and if you server hop you can get that because they're not in containers so the containers you don't care about those another way to farm lead steel and aluminum because I don't know why aluminum but anyways aluminum too is to farm robots so if you're a little bit higher level and you can deal with the Watogan the Watoga security bots and civil workers over in Watoga that is an option so or here in Charleston we arrive at the fire department you sprint down exiting event yes I know so you walk in loot that overseer's cache open the door to the main area okay this is the main area 
well if you turn in here as you can see you have to you have a bunch of of dumbbells so 20 pound dumbbells and it says 20 pounds so it should be weighing 20 pounds no it weighs five this 160 no it weighs 40 this 40 the the 40 pounds weighs 10 so this you take all everything take everything don't hesitate no one is going to be needing these except you watching this video so yeah so once you've taken all of the dumbbells all of the weights everything feel free to loot everything don't let no one hold you back once you looted everything make it to the main area over here you make it in this little room there's a little scrap area here where you can pick up you can pick up a few things adhesive steel a lot of steel in these canisters and oil kerosene things search the scorch for some things there you go so if you loot everything in this room you can walk out with a pretty much a lot of loot um, scrap wise so yeah so come to a workbench that's in this if you scrap all you walk you can walk out with a total of 85 lead that's a lot that is a lot of lead okay so and with the weapon you got you can sell that for some steel you can still sell, sell this too so and if you have the, the the perk points or whatever you can pick luck to secure the game i'm not gonna do that because it'll cost me time another way to get lead super easy is doing the silos site charlie site alpha and site bravo so let's start with site charlie so if you go to site charlie now you do need to be a general for this so you gotta be a little bit higher level if you're a little bit higher level you can go to these lo these three locations the sites the nuclear sites oh, look at that a little camera Okay, so once you come here, no, I'm taking side Charlie. Okay, quick. Okay, so let's clear out these ghouls. Super easy to clear them out. Just. Just shoot them and so already in this area you have a pretty I pretty good idea oh look at that so you got the garage doors right here how much how much no cool Leave me alone. I'm doing a video. Here we go. Oh, and there's another one. Okay, so... Liberators, of course. The, the fucking Chinese communists. Oh, and I'm getting double ganged by a bunch of ghouls. Oh, and one of them is the leader of this location. Okay, cool. So let me heal up real quick. Pump that dude full of lead. Hello there. 
Are you surprised I jump over the fence? I fucking hate these ghouls. They come out of nowhere. But they do give ammo. Sometimes. Depends. So, loot these ghouls. Do whatever. So, let's just loot everything. So once you get to site Charlie, you clear out the, the area, you move into the silo, so these elevators, move it right in there. So if you move in the, the silo, there's this room which has tons of the same thing as in the fire station. There's a bunch of dumbbells and stuff. Ow, my ears. That's Okay, so you move in. So you move here and then you move right in here. You have a bunch of weights. Oh yeah, if I'm bloody stupid, what about you, you fucking cuck? There you go. So, as you can see, you have a bunch of dumbbells, bar, and bar barrels, whatever. You can't loot the ones that are here because these are fucking training things. But you still have a few dumbbells. I think you have the same amount, well, an equivalent amount. The fuck was that? So just feel free to loot all of the room. No point in wasting ammunition on these guys. So also robots drop steel. So once you've cleared out this room, you can just walk out. Ow, my ass head. Just walk out. There you go. Just like that, you can just walk in, take the take the lead, and just walk out. And if you have scrap the the the, the pack rat, the scrap, you should be able to move back to your camp and move uh, move to your camp, scrap it, be fine. If you don't, I recommend having pack rat three and um strong strong back any level to get that extra i also recommend having power armor too it's recommendations you don't have to pack rat you kind of have to because trust me you don't want to wait walk around with 80 pound dumbbells or dumbbells that are worth that have that twice is that fucking weight but whatever so so yeah after you've done that so as you can see i'm like i'm already 290 so let's fast travel to my camp let's go scrap that stuff that we just looted Sorry about that, guys. I'm drinking water. The best beverage ever. I got my password. Wow. Okay, so as you can see, this is my camp right here. We have a lot of water purifiers. I got, I got a shop. Okay, anyways, that's not the point. So you come in your camp. From that, from that run right there, that gave you, that gives you seventy six lead. 
that combined with the Charleston, that's um, a hundred. I think it's a hundred and forty-one or a hundred and thirty something. That's a lot. Probably more, probably less. I don't really. Here, let's 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 she. Uh, lead scrap 162 from those two plus counting the ones that I got from the robots that's a lot of lead now for the steel is pretty easy if you want steel just picking up weapons so like example going to, to West Tech Research Center where they are where super mutants are born they drop pretty, pretty useful weapons, like big weapons, and they're pretty useful because they also drop gunpowder. Gunpowder, super mutants drop a lot of gunpowder, but not. I I think not enough for it to be worth it. So yeah, not enough gunpowder to be worth. So once you come to West Tech, as you can see, there's a lot of super mutants here. So dispatch them, dispatch them as fast as you can. Oh, that's it. Suicide right there. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't recommend this place unless you want it if you unless you need gunpowder as well. If you need gunpowder, hit this place. Hit this area, hit it full. But this place, hitting this place really ain't worth it because you're you're gonna end up consuming more bullets than it's worth. So there you go. So once you dispatch all of the exterior, make sure you loot everything. So assault rifles, all the guns. And when I say all, I, I mean all, like the hunting rifles, the guns, the laser rifles, everything. Every single weapon you can see, loot it. Loot it, loot it, loot, loot, loot. Over here, you got some oil canisters. Loot that. That gives a, that gives a small stash of steel. If you take a look in here, you have these bone chimes. You can take these out for some XP. Um, in here, coffee tin, coffee cup. Get those. Get this battered keyboard for some rare scrap. Loot everything that's in here. Loot everything that's outside. I'm telling you guys, if you don't loot everything, you'll regret it. You'll waste all of these. So of course, after you're you're done looting everything, so these canisters and everything, move back to your camp. Move to your camp and and go loot everything. Go back to your camp. Scrap it. I I won't go because it's. Uh, yeah, it's not weighed enough. Another place to get some some steel is the Blackwater Mine. Blackwater Mine has a lot of... I think it's Black Blackwater or the other one. I don't remember. I don't recall.
Oh wow, okay. Okay, I understand. Yeah, so if you come over here, killing all of these mole miners, they give a lot of of steel. Looting these gas canisters and everything. I thought that was a gas canister. It turns out it was. So as you can see, missile launchers, shotguns. Everything you can get your hands on. Take it. Those blocks, they give lead. See this guy? He has a missile launcher. I really wonder why, because he didn't have a missile launcher when we killed him. This guy had a lot of stuff. Oil canister, metal buckets. What if we open the... Can we open it? Yeah, that's what I thought. If you open these doors, there's a, there's some coolant, some aluminum canisters, there's a bunch of shit down here you can take, some empty coolant for that, some plastic, but we don't need that, we can loot again, um, so yeah, pick up everything you can, all of the steel you can. You see something you're not sure if it has steel, take it. You never know. The more steel, the better. Shut up, mole miner. I didn't talk to you. Oh god, he has a fucking mole miner. Oh, fuck you. There you go. Trust me, you want to kill them all. You want to kill them all? You want to take all of their weapons? Once you've taken all their weapons, I think in here, I don't, I'm not sure if it's in here, it's not in here, in here you, you can get some wine, celebrate, uh, you take the oil canister, mining light, honey, take every single piece of loot that might have some steel in it, you open this door, there some rounds some steel more steel purified water those pillows you can't take them no fluffy no fluffy nap nap for you tonight So yeah, once you've taken every single, there you get some, there you got a chem box there, you can loot that and search it if you have the pharma pharma. So if you take all of these weapons, you find yourself a workbench, you scrap it all, you'll have a fuck ton and I am speaking very seriously. A fuck ton of of scrap and whatever. Here, let's loot all of this. Let's scrap all of the there. Forty-eight steel. Let's see. An assault rifle, a standard assault rifle, six scrap. Uh, missile launcher, six, six, six. This two, 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 two. two. Two, another two, there you go. Here, this, steel scrap six. This, five, five, five. This, two, and this, another five. There you go. You can scrap Aaron anything you want. Oh, you got some mole rat teeth? Don't care. Fucking scrap that. Oh, metal tub lid? Oh, you found that right now? Go back to that tinker's workbench and sell that. Scrap that. Do whatever you want. Oh, you found some some stuff in these boxes? Well, they're not boxes, just they're display cases. I don't care, Timmy. There's some fucking steel. So take them and take them back to that bench and scrap them. 
there let's come over here let's scrap 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 there you go scrap 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 so once you're done scrapping go back to your camp Okay, so welcome back to my camp. So, the camp that you guys all barely know. Let's dump all of our scrap in here. Let's exit our little powy powy. Oh, I got a service lagging. Okay, so let's take that. Now, a perk if you're crafting some ammo have hammo smith either one or two if you have if you have two that's great come to this tinkers workbench now with all of the the stuff you got so as you can see six uh, you have you might not have 600 lead because I had lead before but with all that you should near like f uh, not 500 but like probably like nearing the 300 lead There, let's craft, 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 craft. There you go. Craft, craft, craft. Let's see how much ammo now I have. I have 2,800, which is not still not enough for me. For me. So I'll go over here, see if I can scrap something, which is probably not the case. Yeah, I can't scrap anything unless I have something... Damn it, I thought that was... Fuck, I thought in a cooling can. Oh, there you go. Scrap, scrap, scrap. You scrap that. What the fuck is wrong with you? I just had one extra steel. Unless I gotta put it back in my... Stash, if I have to put it back in my stash, that's dumb. Oh, it probably doesn't count because it's, oh, whatever. So yeah, that's how you farm for some steel, gunpowder, and some lead. So yeah, I'm gonna pick my water, and I'll see you guys in the next video.